Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Instead of it being a movie Monday, I'm posting this movie review on a Friday because I was just really excited for you guys to see Monday's video. So today we are calling it Film Friday. So today I'm going to be reviewing Midsommar and there will be no spoilers in this video just because I'm trying to review movies that are on some streaming platforms so that you guys at home can watch them since we're all pretty much have all the time in the world right now. So this movie is found on Amazon Prime and if anything changes when I edit this video, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, it is on Amazon Prime. I'm also wearing this flower crown because I thought I would match the flower aesthetic of this movie. It's really cute. I really like it. So we are going to be wearing it for the rest of the video. So Midsommar is about a couple that travels with friends to Sweden to visit a Midsommar festival and it quickly becomes from a fun vacation to one that is a little bit bizarre. I really really like this movie and I actually, funny story, I saw this movie for the first time on a plane on my way to London and I finished it on my way back here to the United States and it was really crazy to watch on a plane especially like when the flight attendants would pass it was because i was on the edge it was crazy but honestly i had a lot of fun and then i re-watched this movie like when i got home and i really really like this movie i am a huge fan of horror movies as you guys must probably know by now and i think that this is a really 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 well acted directed written horror movie and i hope we get more of them like this so to start off i just want to start by talking about the director ari adster is a really good director and I've seen both of his films Hereditary and Midsommar and I love them both and they're each so twisted and crazy that I feel like only he could pull this off and he's shown that he understands horror movies and I love that so much because he's not afraid to go too far and to honestly break the limits and do whatever the heck he wants. He, If he wants to make a horror movie, he'll make it. And it's not conventional at all. And I really, really like that. Both of the films are distributed by A24. And I love A24. Um, all their movies, I f they feel like something. And they make me feel something, if that makes sense. And that goes really well with both of his movies. But today, we're here to talk about Midsommar. And I think he did a fantastic job directing this movie. Like, there are so many beautiful shots. There's this shot when she's crying and it's like an overhead shot and she's going into the bathroom and then it changes and when she opens the door she's in the plane bathroom and it's so good like directing of this movie and the cinematography is beautiful and something that i love that ari adster does and you could definitely see that in this movie one of my favorite things is that he creates atmosphere and atmosphere is something that i really really love in movies and especially horror movies i like to understand where the characters are and you can really understand the atmosphere here and understand what this place is and you kind of get a, an idea of the land and the layout and it's just awesome i also want to talk about the acting Florence Pugh did an amazing job and I wish she would have gotten some more recognition and a nomination at the Oscars, but honestly, after Toni Collette was robbed after her amazing performance, I didn't really expect her to be nominated, but she did an outstanding job and I followed Florence Pugh through a lot of her movies. I've seen, honestly, I feel like almost all of them. I don't know if I'm missing anything, but I remember I saw her in Lady Macbeth and I've seen her in like all her recent work lately and I'm super excited to see her in Black Widow. She's just a great young actress and I'm so excited to see where her career takes her because as of lately she's been amazing and she presents such a real character and you can really feel her pain and it's crazy to me because obviously she's not feeling the pain that the character Danny is feeling but she just does it so well and it's so captivating. Every time that I watch her it felt like I was watching kind of like a documentary about a real person and a real cult rather than it was just a movie and she kind of blends in with the character it's not it's suddenly not an actor playing it it's just the character being played if that makes sense which is one of my favorite things that actors can do when you completely forget that they're acting and just feel so realistic it's also really funny because i think after this movie she started filming little women and that character Amy is completely different from Danny and it just shows her range and she's so amazing and I hope she continues to get the recognition that she deserves. So speaking more about like the plot line of the film and all of that, I thought it was excellent and I think this movie is really well at setting up the plot. It is kind of a little bit of a slow burn at times and the pacing is a little bit slow but I feel like it was done intentionally because in my opinion this movie is 
through Danny's perspective and more through through kind of what she's going through and honestly none of the characters really knew what they got themselves into and I think by having it be a little bit slower paced it shows how they were trying to get used to everything and kind of take everything in that they were seeing which they were seeing a lot of things the first 20 minutes of the movie I'm not really gonna give away what happened because I'm not really sure if that's a spoiler or not I honestly haven't seen the trailer in a while but it does a great job of setting up the characterization of each of the characters in a great way because in that 20 minutes you get to understand kind of where all their mindsets are and I thought that was fantastic because although our main character is Danny and the other ones are kind of pushed to the side we get to understand that they're kind of assholes and like you see that off the bat and you and you could kind of guess where th this is going in a way like with their characterization and I thought that, that was amazing and I feel like Danny's arc in the movie is also awesome maybe i'll do like a spoiler review of this later if this video does well or something because there's so much i have to say about how they wrote her character and like her characterization and parallels between the beginning the ending like this movie has so many little hidden like i guess easter eggs i would say that just make the movie even more fantastic i also do want to talk about like how scary the movie is i feel like that's something important to talk about when you're doing a horror movie review in my opinion the movie itself is not really scary this is more of a psychological type of thriller however it is traumatizing although this one is really intense i feel like hereditary was worse than midsummer in my opinion but it's very gory and it's also just intense so if you're not somebody that really likes horror movies you might not really enjoy this and i would definitely not recommend seeing it alone i feel like seeing it with with friends is much much better for this type of movie but I don't think it's scary in the sense that there's jump scares. If you're a type of person that really likes jump scares, there won't be any here, which I love. And something else that I love about this movie is that it's ma the majority of the film is in daylight. And daylight horror is something that is so hard to achieve because so many horror movies rely on the dark. And a lot of things that we're scared of and characters are is the dark. And when you take that darkness away and you just have light the entire time, it just makes it more scary and menace harder to escape because everything is happening at all times it doesn't just have to be during the night and i thought that, that was amazing and the lighting in this movie is so unique to horror films and i hope more horror films like develop that because i'm so tired of the same old same old and this movie completely took the same old things and just threw it in a bucket or bucket threw it in a box and just kind of hit it there because it was so unique and I loved that. Something that I really really like and is so special about the movie and it's kind of like the perspective that this movie is in. So the side characters are kind of pushed to the side and I guess they don't really have development per se and when I first saw that that kind of bothered me because I love in horror movies when I get to understand each character and I kind of feel for them and or at least I have like some idea they're not just throwaway characters. And when I first saw it, I was like, these are such throwaway characters. And honestly, I thought the film was kind of worse than what I think about it now. However, I really, really liked that because if you think about it, Danny only knows um, Christian's friends through Christian's perspective. And she knows them from a very, very minimal, minimal side. And in a way, this movie is a perspective film because the entire time you're in her perspective and never ahead of her. It's never a dramatic irony where you know that something's coming. You're always seeing everything in the same eyes as them and you're never ahead of the characters and that's so awesome to me because it's it that's what makes it more of an anxiety driven film because you're so like immersed in what's happening and you honestly in my opinion I forgot I was watching a movie. I just felt like I was experiencing everything with them and that's why it makes it more intense and I guess in a way scarier even though I just said it wasn't really scary there are different definitions of scary guys I'm saying not scary like you're not gonna be jumping all the time but I thought that was really really smart and creative to do because you're just as confused as the I'm telling you it bothered me the first time I saw it I was like I don't I don't know what's happening and then you're like and it ends and you're like what what just happened but I feel like that's how the characters felt themselves 
and that was awesome putting the audience in the same shoes as the characters is fantastic talking about it is making me want to watch it again although i really really love this movie it's not perfect and i feel like some of the things that this movie lacks in is explanation it like although i do like the ominous and the mysterious feel of the movie i feel like there are some parts that weren't explained and it honestly did leave me confused and i had to do some google searching for it and some stuff i still don't really understand so that's honestly the only negative i have and the the fact that it's like a bit of a slow burn type of movie but overall i really really love this movie and i'm gonna give this movie an a i really liked this movie and i feel like more people should watch it of course if you're really sensitive to gore and like psychological things i don't think it's for you but if you're definitely a horror fan which i know a lot of you guys are you're going to definitely love this and it's on prime video and it's so good i really really like this movie and i would love to hear what you guys think about it down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching this video it really means a lot that you guys are subscribing i just hit 60 subscribers which is crazy and i think like it's awesome that you guys are subscribing and liking my content lately and yeah make sure to follow me on my instagram i'm always updating and posting art i've been posting daily pretty much every day so you guys should definitely check that out and yeah if you liked what you saw make sure to subscribe like and share it with somebody else bye guys i'll see you next time